oh my god if i never have to sew another zipper again i'll be a happy woman hi and welcome to unpaid vacation where i do things to try and maintain whatever's left of my sanity am i successful i don't know you tell me and today I have been requested to make a friend of mine an outfit for her birthday, <laughs> which was a month and a half ago. Because if you want your stuff ready on time, you don't ask me. That's the lesson, kids, today, okay? <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering about um, her, I, she doesn't have a name, so if you have ideas, you can you can tell me in the comments or something if anyone's watching this. And also, there's a video about how I made her the dress that she's wearing. She's just going to be here for this. Anyway, I'm taking you with me on the journey of making the top and the skirt for my friend. As, uh, as you can you can hear from my tone the top took forever and was at moments I, I was I was seriously considering setting it on fire <laughs> it was that torture and I'll, I'll show you how long that took an eternity pretty much the skirt however took like an hour and was really fun and you know what the difference is between the top and the skirt? The top was made out of a woven fabric. This kind of satiny, not really sure what the fabric contents of it is, but really annoying. Phrase, terribly, terribly phrase, and just, just terrible in general. And it needed a lining. And a zipper that falls apart. Oh, it was just... Yes, I don't know how I got through it, but I did. Yes. And the skirt was made out of a knit fabric. So it's basically just so much easier, so, so much easier. So I decided also to make a series someday of making woven fabric patterns because those are the pretty patterns i don't know why they only make pretty patterns for woven fabric and just making them in a knit fabric and seeing if that works because <laughs> oh my god if i never have to sew another zipper again i'll be a happy woman now for the fabrics this tool shiny also knit fabric um, for the overskirt because the skirt's gonna have two layers. One of them is just gonna be black cotton and this is gonna be on top of it to give it a little shine. And we got this for the underskirt and this shiny satiny fabric for the top and oh. now we get to play with watercolors here's where i treat you to a very bad tiktok i made for the fashion illustration for this project i made two of them one for the drawing and one for the painting i just happened to have a watercolor paint that was very similar to the color of the top. And uh, yeah, what, what, what do you think? Mm -hmm. That's great, is it? Um, yeah, here we are doing colors and this fun. I basically just took a picture that I had of my friend with an interesting posture and I drew it and added the outfit on it. I think it's cute. Now we enjoy the process of copying pattern pieces onto pattern paper. We unfold this monstrosity where all the patterns are 
and uh, try not to lose motivation while this is going on. Not easy. And uh, here is me trying to understand where the patterns are. Where are the pieces? What What's going on here? What do I need to copy? Hmm, not easy. But I figured it out and made another bad TikTok of me making the 12. Look at that. I cut the pattern pieces, I sewn them together. And there you go, we got a 12. So cool. Now I let my friend try on the 12. Didn't film it because she was feeling a little self-conscious. I understand that. And um, I made little, as you can see, little markings with pen on the actual fabric. And then I copied it onto pattern pieces. Some of them I had to make smaller. Some of them I had to add more paper to. You're going to see it in a while. And uh, I did this twice. I adjusted the pattern pieces and made another 12. Here you can see me cut more paper and attach it to the pattern piece because you need to make it a little larger. I suggest using a lighter color of washi tape for this than I used. Maybe duct tape or something that's, I don't know, see-through, I'm not sure, but this worked out all right. Now I add this, I adjust it, I cut it, and uh, that's basically it. And now we come to the exciting part of pinning the pattern pieces now that they're adjusted to her form and we can cut the fabric finally oh, this whole process up to this point took so long already I'm not sure how I did was my motivation and uh, this is we didn't even start the sewing process of the actual garment. It's ridiculous. We're doing all of this. This took like, I don't know, a week because I couldn't do it like all day, right? I have a job and everything. And uh, yeah, we did all this process and we haven't even started sewing the actual garment. We just sewed a 12 twice and we had to do the, you know, trying it on, seeing if it works out. And now we're cutting the fabric. Finally, the actual fabric of the top. And we're not even getting started with all the drama that was involved in this project. I almost gave up so many times. Just the cutting. Can you can you see how long this is taking? Still not done. And this is like times three. Like it's faster than it is in real life. And we're basically 
at the point where we have the pattern pieces cut. Next time, more drama on unpaid vacation. I went from having a job that threatened to kill me to having a job that makes me want to die. This is why everybody hates you, because you don't give good instructions. I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna find out very soon and probably want to uh, throw the whole thing away and set my house on fire.